Meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, 648. We have a rare morning thunderstorm that has been developing across the Owyhees this morning. For the last hour, I've been watching this cell. It has held together. We are seeing a little bit of rotation right there, which we don't normally see, especially in the morning hours. So this is a significant storm. If you have to travel this direction in the next hour or so, I would just wait it out if you can. We are seeing heavy downpours, dozens of lightning strikes over the last hour or so with this storm. And also now up Highway 51, not far from Bruno, kind of making a beeline, in fact, for Bruno. Look at the heavy rain right now. A lightning strike just recorded in the last couple of minutes as well. This is significant, especially when you have this heavy rain on top of dry ground. The runoff can be pretty quick. And of course, a lightning strike on top of dry vegetation. Never good news. So all of this is that monsoon moisture rolling in from the south. There's not a lot more coming in across Nevada, but still this has been significant south of the Treasure Valley this morning. So we continue our fire weather warning across our entire viewing area, all of central and southern Idaho, eastern Oregon as well under this red flag warning through at least 11 o'clock tonight for the possibility of those pop up isolated thunderstorms throughout the day today. We did get a little break in the smoke. That's my silver lining to the unsettled weather, and it's been an uneventful start in the Treasure Valley. All of that action has been well to the south of the Boise area. Still looks pretty gray out there. We do have clouds that will continue to hang out overhead, and we will not kick the smoke completely, but generally speaking, today we'll look and feel a whole lot like yesterday, though we do continue our air quality alert for the foreseeable future for most of the Treasure Valley simply because of those elevated pollutant levels, the wildfire smoke in the air that will continue for some time to come. Outdoor burning is prohibited while we are under this air quality alert. Right now, though, in Boise itself, we are in the green or good air quality category. Could worsen a little bit throughout the day. And I think after today, when we kick the storms out, we start drying out, warming up, get more of a westerly, southwesterly flow. We'll start seeing more smoke coming back into the picture, especially in the mountains, so tomorrow things might getting get a little bit murkier, a little bit hazier, though we'll actually have more sunshine emerging, so it should look and feel a little brighter after this. So today will still be hot. Don't let the cloud cover fool you. We hit 97, 98 around the Boise area yesterday. We'll be in the mid 90s again this afternoon. Generally light winds, except for where those storms develop. We're talking 40 to 50 mile per hour outflow winds with these storms. So even if you're not uh, hit by a storm itself, you may bear the brunt of some of those winds, so just be ready for that. Be weather aware today as you're out and about. Highs around 80 from McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade. Partly sunny outside of the thunderstorms that will pop up around Stanley and Sun Valley. Mid-70s there. Still pretty hot in the Magic Valley. Areas of smoke continue. A high of 90 for Twin Falls with isolated showers and thunderstorms possible throughout the afternoon. So tomorrow, as the storms clear out of the valley, temperatures warm up, the smoke returns, and then there's not much change to the forecast. We'll have mid to upper 90s every afternoon through the weekend with sunshine overhead, but smoke at the surface.